What's up, Conway? Today is Monday, December 1st, and you're watching the CHS Student News. I'm Peyton. And I'm Matt. And, and here's, here's your news. news. In school news, there was a chair meeting today at 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock a.m. in the library. Also, on Wednesday the 3rd, interims will be issued, so hopefully your grades are good. If not, you better start being nice to your parents. <laughs> in local news, if you are a part of the Conway High School family, uh, you may have heard about the tragic accident that took the life of one of our own, Rachel Lewis. At 8 o'clock p.m. on Saturday night, she was involved in an accident, accidental shooting while in the parking lot of Bass Pro Shops at the Myrtle Beach Mall. Uh, reports indicate that Zach Floyd of Fairmont, North Carolina, and Rachel's boyfriend accidentally shot her and uh, immediately called 911 afterwards, but she was pronounced dead at the Grand Strand Memorial Hospital. When things like this happen, it's always hard to explain and talk about, but... Um, all we can say is our thoughts and our prayers go out to Rachel's family and friends for their loss. And uh, for those of Conway High School who are having trouble dealing with the loss of Rachel, please stop by the guidance office. Uh, they're open to talk to anyone uh, at any time. In national news, although the fires and lootings are over in Ferguson, the protesting is not. That's right. Activists are calling for students to walk out of school and employees to walk off the job nationwide at 1 p.m. today to protest police violence. Um, and the people in Ferguson also put a boycott on Black Friday shopping and caused the local mall to temporarily shut down. Wow. So that's pretty insane. Now for the Club and Guidance Report. Conroy High School Club and Guidance News. Scholarships. Attention senior scholarships are being posted on the Conroy High School webpage under the Guidance tab. Internet Club meeting. Room A101 at 325 to 4 o'clock. Interims. Interims will be issued on December 3rd. Drama club meeting will be after school on Wednesday, December 3rd in the drama room. Fishing club. Interest meeting in the Midi Auditorium December 8th at 6 o'clock p.m. Now for the weather. Hey Conway, I'm Julia. I'm Courtney. And, and we're, we're here, here with, with your weather, weather forecast. forecast. Today's high is 72 degrees. Tonight's low is 45 degrees. Tomorrow's high is 69 degrees. That's all for your weather, Conway. Thanks for watching. Bounce your wild. <laughs> now over to Marcus and Jameer with sports. What's going on, Conway? What's going on, you guys? You see he started today. It's a whole nother day. <laughs> yeah. We got some news for you guys. We do. I know you guys are wondering why I'm all nice today. Marcus has a basketball game. <laughs> JV. Game. Who y'all play? You tried to roast me when you said JV? I didn't know. I just said it. It's cool. Cause you can go to work in there, right? Jamie Nichols. Yep. We're going to go to work. Oh, we got St. James. St. James? Yes. How do uh, you feel about this game? Y'all can come in and win? Yeah. Are they, are they well, a contender? I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to yeah. contender. I think every team is a contender, no matter. Records don't prove nothing. It's the way they come and execute okay. the game. So we can lose to anybody, no matter who they are. Right. That's how I feel. Yeah. Uh, let's see, you had some NBA last night. Lakers got another win. That's four. We, we got to get the five. We have to get the five. We need to get a winning record. That's going to be kind of hard. Yeah, I hope. We got, I think we got one of the hardest. But, yeah, besides that, yeah. Kobe had 31 points, 11. 12 assists, yeah. 11 rebounds, and That's one block. That's a triple-double. And I think he last night he made history. He's the only player in the NBA to have 30,000 points and 6,000 assists. And – that's for all the naysayers that say he don't pass the ball. <laughs> they they did have assists. something. They were like, he's like the second among player to have 30, 10, and 10. Do they mean like 30, 30 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists in a game? That might, I think, over the course of his career, probably. Okay. Yeah, that's so why I seen that last night, but yeah, I ain't know. Um, and some NFL news Ray Rice has been yeah, reinstated. Yeah. So he can sign, well, he can't sign the, any team. Uh, any 32 team in the NFL can sign him. Yeah. 
the last I've heard about it is the Saints and Colts was looking at him, but mm. that's all I really heard. But I think he, I'm glad he's back. Now, do you think the Ravens will like even look at him a little bit? I think they probably have to talk about it, you know. Yeah. But I think he he should go back to the Ravens. To be honest with you. Uh, it's uh, in some college basketball news, you know. Man, what's up with the um with the schedule? These top ranked teams they ain't playing know. nobody yet. They ain't nobody. It's the beginning of the season. They always true, play sorry teams. You right. You right. You right. Man, I want to see some matchups. Yeah, me Duke, too. North Carolina, Kentucky, Kansas. Yeah. Well, they already played, didn't they? Kentucky and Kansas. I think so. I think so too. I don't know who won. They both good. You know. Okay. Now to the sports lineup. This Monday, JV basketball team will be playing against the St. James at Conway at six o'clock. Go Conway. For some sports announcements, this Tuesday and Thursday, the archery will have practice 3.30 to 5 o'clock in the Tiger Den. All students interested in joining are invited to attend. See Coach Williams in room A215. If you have any questions, please contact Coach Williams. Um, December 8th, the fishing team will be having a meeting in the mini auditorium at 6 o'clock p.m. And I think that's all. That's it. No, we'll be back with you tomorrow. Yep. The stats of the game. <laughs> of the game. <laughs> back to Matt and Payton. Thanks, guys. Now for the feature of the day. Today is the first day of December. Right now, there are 24 days left before Christmas and 14 days of school before Christmas holidays. That being said, you need to think of what you can get your favorite guy for Christmas. So we went around to get the guy's point of view for the best guy gift to buy. I mean, mostly money. Give me money. I'll be happy. New motor for my truck. <laughs> shoes. Definitely shoes. I want my two front teeth for Christmas. I have to say anything sports related. Anything sports related. For their favorite team, favorite college team, NBA team, NFL team. If you get them that, they'd be good to go. Just a lot. I would have to say the best guy gift will have to be money because I'm explaining and I like to explain. I like to talk, so I'm talking to you guys. Um, I'm gonna have to say money because they can buy what they like. So you don't have to force a gift to them. They can just go ahead and be like, thank you for the money, I'm gonna go buy what I like. So you have to force some stuff to them. So they be like, thank you, baby. I love you. And here's what's trending for guy gifts this year. Here are the top five guy gifts compiled from various online sources. Number five is sports gear. Number four is a Bluetooth portable speaker. Number three is a video game. Number two is shoes. And number five is tickets to a concert or sporting event. All right, Conway High. All gifts for me can be left in room A100. Now back to Matt and Peyton. All right, Conway, for your CHS News, I'm Matt. And I'm Peyton. Have a fantastic day.